What's up, YouTube? You know what it is, Leo Pozzo TV. Thank you very much for tuning in, and thank you to all my latest subscribers. I just hit 6,000 recently, and now I'm almost at 6,200. It's crazy how many people are subscribing. It's fantastic. I see the raise of subscribers within the channel, and I totally appreciate it, guys, and that's why I keep on coming out with new videos, new footage, new stuff all the time, keep you guys busy, entertained, and you know, thinking and coming up with new projects and whatnot. So, guys, in this video is a follow-up on the 120-gallon tank. Uh, you remember, this is a custom tank build that I built over the last few weeks. Uh, the last few things that we've been doing have been uh, installing the overflow box, which you can see right here over my shoulder. It's an acrylic overflow box, quarter inch. Uh, you can go ahead and refer back to some of my uh, past videos on how to install that and how to prep it up and just in general about installing an overflow box tips and tricks. Um, other than that, today we're going to be installing some black vinyl, guys. We have some black vinyl. This is 24 inches tall, so it's the height of the tank. It's already cut to that size. It just happens to be that the rolls come in, I think it's uh, 12 inches and 24 inches and larger if needed. But I got myself um, two yards, which is approximately six feet. The tank is only four feet long. And you can see the overflow box is uh, approximately 12 inches from left to right across the front there. So really all I need left is from here to here, which is 36 inches, 3 feet. So it was pretty cost effective. And I picked myself up 2 yards just in case if I made a mistake or if there was any errors. Or you know I can uh, you know possibly do the sump or any other tank builds, future tank builds. At least I have some extra kicking around. This is not actually something that the customer requests, the aquarium, you know, background, the black background, but I just kind of want to put it on just for my myself. I want to put it on for them. Um, they're just going to kind of, I know already from experience, they're just going to kind of leave it up to me on what I think. And I think I'm going to put it on, it'll look nicer. Their current tank that they have right now does not have it. And I think just the way it's going to be positioned and general overall maintenance, it'll probably help to make the tank look uh, much more finished and complete and make the back not really like any wires or any cables or anything. Just kind of blend it all in and it'll all be black. So that's the game plan for today, guys. I just wanted to take you guys along the way and show you guys how we're going to go ahead and do this. First things first, uh, ideally you could apply the... Uh, the vinyl on the aquarium on the back wall as the aquarium is standing right now upright but I think I'm not going to really say make my life easier because it's not going to really be that easy for me to turn around this tank on the front face so I can do it like a tabletop so I can work like this versus working like up and down here on the back wall so I don't know if it's really making my life easier that I got to flip the tank down but I think it'll be more comfortable and I'll have a probably better, a better finished product with the vinyl if I'm working on a nice flat area and I turn the tank down on its face. So for me to do that, I'm going to set up the camera on a better view so you guys can have a look. I think I'm going to prep up some, uh, some towels that I can protect the front glass when I rest it down. Um, again, you might ask yourself why is the tank elevated on these uh, two by sixes here. And again, you can refer back to one of my past videos as I mentioned that that is just to kind of prepare myself for some of the plumbing as I can install the bulkheads and see, you know, the height, how far down they come and just kind of prepare the bulk, uh, the plumbing inside the overflow box. That's the reason why it's kind of elevated off the ground. So I'm just going to keep those two by six there. I'm going to get some towels, protect the front face, flip down the tank on the front and I'm going to clean out the, the back glass. I'm most likely going to use, what am I going to use? I'm just going to use some water and some dish soap that I'm going to be using to apply the vinyl. And I'm going to clean it all up, some nice paper towel. And we're going to be installing this vinyl, the wet method, guys. So if you guys want to learn a few tips and tricks and see how it's done and maybe learn something along the way and maybe learn from my mistakes or from the things that I have done, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think, any of your opinions or comments or feedback. I totally appreciate it. That's where the comment section is for, guys. So other than that, let's get started. Let's flip down this tank, clean it all up, and start getting this vinyl installed.
Did you see a potential disaster or what? How many times could you count? Do not watch that again. Do not do that again. Do not do this by yourself. Oh, Leo Pazzo, what did you get yourself into? Well, you know what? This is what happens when you don't have any help. You could ask your wife, but do you really want her to grab the other end of this and start, uh, you know, just in case she can't handle it? I'd rather not. Do I have a brother? No. Are my sisters going to help? No. Is my son, son old enough to help? No. Is my buddy around? Not right now. So, what are you going to do? This is what you're going to do. Now that we got it uh, facing the right way, we're going to clean the glass, we're going to get all our tools together. I'm going to take a breather and try to stop sweating from either working hard or from stressing out one or the other, but uh, I'm ready to do this. Okay guys, we got the tank flipped over, I got all my tools prepped up. And I'm just going to go over some of the tools and the process of I'm going to do it before I actually go ahead and do it. So again, I got some uh, tap water in this little spray bottle. I added a few drops of palm olive dish soap. Um, just a few drops. I didn't shake it or anything. I made sure that it was fully clean before I put any wa new water in it. Rinsed it out a few times. So what I've done again is just some tap water. And it's lukewarm, more on the colder side, and a few drops of palm olive dish soap. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to spray some on the back of the tank where I'm going to be applying the vinyl on. And I'm just going to clean it with some good old paper towel. After that, um, I'm going to probably cut my vinyl to my rough size that I'm going to need it. I've got my scissors here. I've got a razor blade that I can cut my vinyl as well if the scissors don't work as well. For an example, like around the edges or whatnot. Um, along with that, I'm going to be applying my vinyl with this uh, scraper. This is a plastic, plastic scraper, plastic on one end, and the other end is uh, just like a felt. And you can use either side, whatever works best for you. And I'll let you know by the end result of this video what method works best, or maybe even both. Um, other than that, I got my uh, square here, or just basically like a straight edge. This is just a square to cut drywall and whatnot, but I'm just going to be using this as a straight edge if I need to be cutting any of the, uh, the vinyl once it's applied along the edges so we have a nice clean straight line. You can use a ruler or whatever you need, depending how big your tank is. So, I think other than that, we're ready to rock. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning this tank right now.
Alright guys, I just finished installing the vinyl background. You pretty much saw the process and the steps that I took to do it. Overall, the finished product looks great to me. Um, I didn't have zero problems with any bubbles. It was pretty straightforward. I just took my time and uh, scraped it out as you saw I did with the, um, the felt side of the scraper and the, the plastic side. Both worked, both worked well. Uh, you notice that I used the straight edge there to cut the access, the extra vinyl that was on here on the one side. Um, I also used it, uh, the straight edge there to cut along the edge there. That's it. So now I'm just going to flip over this tank and see how it looks from the front face. I'm hoping that it looks great and it's all nice and solid black. <laughs> guys there's the tank with the black background the black vinyl installed the right hand side the overflow box we installed the previous videos check that out we just installed the vinyl on this video just got the tank back in place Whew, it's not easy you see me struggle but uh, it is what it is you got to do what it takes to get the job done and this bad boy is looking fantastic I'm very impressed with the way the vinyl turned out no issues whatsoever very straightforward and overall very impressed with the finished product all right guys that concludes today's video of installing the vinyl background on the 120 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank custom built tank that we've been building and i've been taking you guys along the way if you guys are just tuning in now in this video, I definitely recommend on checking the past videos out as you guys can learn something along the way and you can see how we actually got to this step right now. As I've taken you guys on building the tank, building the sump, building the stand, the sump filtration, ordering the parts, unboxing some of the parts guys, drilling the tank, overflow box, the list goes on. There's so much more to happen. We're going to be installing this tank shortly. I just want you guys to stay tuned and don't miss anything. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, everyone in general for watching and for supporting the channel Leo Pozzo TV. Go ahead and subscribe right now if you haven't subscribed already. And if you have, once again, thank you. I couldn't have done it without you guys. This goes out to all my fish lovers. Getting together on the form and just hover. Nothing to hide but to only uncover. Treating one another like it's our own brother. Passing info, learning every day. Try something new, maybe a different way. Don't succeed the first time, it's okay. Start from scratch, yeah. A new tank.